How many times are you going to not understand exactly what's going on? How many times are you going to let something like this bypass you? The records that Public Enemy put out, the records that the Ghetto Boys put out, and every other rap artist or rap group put out, talking about white people and white supremacy and racism, were the same records that these same white people was making the most money out of or off of. You understand what I'm saying? So you can imagine these white people that own these studios, that own these recording studios, that own these distribution companies. And you can imagine them actually listening to these lyrics and laughing because they know a secret that you never bothered to begin to understand. These same white people that they're talking shit about. Is the ones that's making the most money off of these records. And they give the pocket change to the ones that actually created the lyrics. And guess what? The rap artists and the rap groups, they knew exactly what was going on. They never bothered to tell you, did they? They kept this secret to themselves. Because you know why? You start to figure this out. You stop supporting the records. You stop supporting the rap artists and the rap groups, period, as well. Because when you support them, you really supporting these white motherfuckers that's making billions of dollars off of that fucking music. They signed the contracts. They knew exactly it would be the way that I just said that it would be. But they were so greedy and so hungry for money. They said, fuck it. We'll just keep our mouth closed and everybody wins. They got a nerve to rap about racism. They got a nerve to rap about uh, anything in relation to that. When these same white men are making the most money, they grab the money straight from all the shit talking. Come on, man. As a matter of fact, I heard that they encourage it. Yeah, you know what? Talk about racism. Talk about white supremacy. Hell, talk about me if you want to, because I need that billion dollars that I'm going to make off those fucking records. And I'm going to going to give you maybe a million or two, you know, uh, good luck with managing your money, you illiterate, degenerate ass motherfuckers. That's how they thought of your so-called precious Professor Griff and Public Enemy and Willie D and the Ghetto Boys. They don't give a shit about them. They used them. And there was another agenda. To promote violence. It started with rock and roll. Rock and roll was in the spotlight back in the 70s. And you see how fast that came to an end. People that were committing crimes, they would blame certain songs. If you don't believe me, do the research and look it up. They would blame certain rock songs. ACDC and... And all these other, you know, various groups. They even, a killer that murdered somebody blamed uh, the song Cocaine that Eric Clapton wrote. He actually uh, played footage <laughs> of this song inside the courtroom. I looked that up just the other day. So quick, fast, and they're hairy. They said, you know what? This is a stain on our society. We got to close the book on this immediately. And they did. But the next idea that they had, <laughs> and you know exactly where I'm going with this. The next idea that they had was to bring that same violent music just in a different form over in the black society. And they succeeded. And they put a name on it and they named it rap music. It's nothing but rock and roll in a different form. It's violent as hell. It's telling people, listen, it's okay to smoke weed because I'm the artist. I smoke weed too. It's okay to kill somebody because I'm talking about killing multiple people. I even lied and created a story saying that, you know, I killed people before. And I got shot 10 times or I got shot eight times. All those were lies. 
and you believed it, to help sell records, to help fatten up the image of people like 50 Cent and Jay-Z and so forth. Notice how every rapper has a story. Oh, I did this and I did that. And it's always something bad. <laughs> Notice that? Same thing with the rock and roll. I'm telling you what I know. You never paid any attention to it, and you're still not paying any attention to it. This rap music has ruined our society, ruined our generations. They grow up listening to that. All they want to do is emulate it and follow it. They don't want to graduate high school. They don't want to go to college. All they want to do is murder somebody. All they want to do is get high. That's their highlight of the day. I got to score some fucking gunja. I got to score some of that top grade fucking marijuana so that I can listen to even more violence and then maybe even murder somebody tonight. That violent shit, man. So don't tell me I don't need to do what I'm doing. And don't tell me that they didn't use people like Willie D, Professor Griff, and all the rest of them. Now, considering Professor Griff, people wanted to view them as the alternative. You understand? Like nonviolent and talking about black power this and black power that. Did you know that it was a white man that gave Professor Griff his character? which was Professor Griff. He even gave him the name Professor Griff, a white dude. Imagine if you had known that when you were supporting that bullshit. They wouldn't even be stars today. They wouldn't even have gotten off the fucking ground if you had knew any knowledge of that. And it's the truth, too. He can't deny it. I wish he would try to deny it. He cannot deny that. It was a white man that gave him his character. It was a white man that gave him the name Professor Griff. He told him how to walk and he told him how to talk. And he still kept that character when he crossed over to YouTube when he was broke and needed money. He said, you know what? I'll just keep pretending this black power thing really generates a lot of money because people think that you really care about black movement, black power, racism, and white supremacy. They could care less about that. When they're not being recorded, they count the money and they do exactly what they want to do. Ironically, some of the same things that they claim to hate, they participate in almost every single day. And you are none the wiser. It's time to smarten up. It's time to start figuring these things out for yourself. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. I've already did the research. This violent music, this is an agenda. And you fail for it. You love these people as if they have been doing something for you ever since you were born. They don't know you, first off, number one. Number two, even if they did know you, they wouldn't be doing anything to help you. They need help themselves. These failed rap artists, these washed up rap artists that need your cash to live off of. They depend on that shit, man. Notice how many is flocking to YouTube all of a sudden. Hmm? They figured out, you know what? It's money in this YouTube thing. People will literally just send you money for doing nothing but just having a conversation on a recorded video. Oh, my God. A conversation. One of the most expensive conversations I've ever heard to date. And you continue to support them over and over and over and over again. All they have to do is ask, join the movement, Willie D says. Join the movement. Give me some money through and by my Patreon. If you don't give me a certain amount of money, I can't continue giving you these videos, these five-minute videos of me talking about nothing. I can't afford it. Now, if you give me a certain amount, then I'll make sure I keep giving you these fantastic five-minute videos that mean nothing, that only mean something to all of you dummies out there. Don't get angry at me because you the dummy, okay? And don't get angry because I call you the dummy. I call it like I see it. You are a dummy, an ignorant dummy. 
that gives their money away to any and everybody at any time. All they need do is ask. If you have it, you're going to give it to them. Oh, $5? Oh, I got that. You got it, Willie D. Oh, $20? You got it, Willie D. Because I love you in Ghetto Boys. What kind of message did he send in this so-called Ghetto Boys rap lyrics, huh? Huh? I mean, was it something inspiring to you? Was it the cause of you landing that great job that you go to every day? That the pay is enough to actually take care of you? Or do you have a job at all? Hmm? Ironically, the people that supported that music, they don't have jobs now. Guess what? Most of them are drug addicts, drug dealer wannabes in and out of prison, degenerates. That music spawned thousands of degenerates. That's exactly what it did. And now that music has gone to the next level now. Oh my God, to the next level. Look at the younger generations now. These bastards are getting life sentences before they turn age 19. Before the age of 19, I'm telling you, man, listen, do the research. I'm not talking about look at TV and in the next 48 hours and all that kind of shit. No, 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 no. I want you to do the research and read if you can read some of these stories that's happening every single day that involve a younger generation. They're handing out life sentences like candy, man. I'm telling you, every day, at least 20 black people receive a life sentence. 30 years or better. 30 years or better or either just life without parole. I'm not kidding you. I wish it was a lie. I wish it wasn't true, but it's 100% true, ladies and gentlemen. This has got to change. At the rate we're going, we won't have enough people to call it a society. They're cutting our numbers down by any means necessary. If they don't give you life, they're going to just straight up murder you either by weapons, by the police, or through food with all types of diseases, cancer, and everything else. They're killing us off every single day, and we still don't even realize it. It's a slow process, but if you ask me, it's a very fast process. Look up how many black people, men and women, die every day. As a matter of fact, it's not just every day. Within that day, every 15 minutes, 10 black people die. I'm not even exaggerating. Every 15 minutes, 10 black people die. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the war that I've been telling you about that's already here now. It's going to escalate. At some point in time, they're going to reveal exactly what they have been up to. When that time comes, it's going to already be too late. This is why they're going to reveal it. It won't be enough of us left to, to buck anything. It's time to do something different now. You have tried your way. You tried your way for 30 years or better, and nothing came about. So now, it's time to can that way and try something different. Don't you think? You wouldn't try to crank a lawnmower by using the same method, pulling that damn string for 10 minutes straight or even 5 minutes straight. You're going to get tired, and common sense is going to take over. And you're going to check something else. Let me see if I got gas in this thing. Let me see 
There's something going on with the damn spark plug. Anything. But you're not going to keep pulling the string. Only an idiot would do that. Two hours, you're still trying to pull the fucking cord. And it's still not cranking. Who does that? I don't even think a mentally retarded person would do that. They would have given up a long time ago. So what's your excuse? Huh? What's your excuse? This rap music is not to be glorified. Or the artists, they're not to be glorified. Willie D has never done anything for anybody. I could see if he was responsible for change over here and change over there and, and thousands of people getting their life back together. This nigga ain't never done nothing. The only thing he did is a bad thing. He cheated 35 people out of their money because he was in desperate need himself. And stop writing this net worth of a million dollars inside the comment section if that were true. And besides that, you like an idiot, but if that were true, why is he begging you for money now? Huh? You got a million dollars. There's no need to beg people for money. You just would say, join the movement, and I got you, because I got you covered, if any cost there is. And besides that, if he was worth a million dollars, why did he have to cheat and beat 35 people out of their little pocket change? Get the fuck out of here. Please, you look like some very stupid clown-ass idiots, I'm telling you. And from now on, you keep coming to the comment section, I'm going to reveal exactly who you are. Pictures, pictures of your wife, pictures of your fucking kids, I'm telling you. There will be no holds barred over here, okay? And now, you can try to flag it down, you know. By then... It'll already be out there everywhere. And somebody or several people would have already copied those exact videos. So try me. Call my bluff and see what happens. I'll make the time to create those videos immediately. You understand? Each and every one of you. I'm not playing with you anymore. I don't want you over here. So this is your warning now. Take down your Facebooks. Everything. Make all the necessary arrangements. Because I'm coming for you. I'm telling you. I know somebody's going to try it. Because they're going to be thinking, well, I got a fake account. He can't find out my information. <laughs> try me. That's all. Listen, I really want you to. And I may even just put somebody's shit out there just to prove that I can do it. Who knows? Which one will it be? If I were you, I would start erasing my own comment right now. Because the one I pick is going to be the one that's left. 